Hey guys, I'm Manga, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Niwer NW700 Condenser Microphone Kit. Inside the kit, it comes with, obviously, the Niwer NW700 Condenser Microphone, a Niwer Boom Arm with a Clamp Mount Kit to put it onto your desk, a shock mount to eliminate vibrations, a pop filter to get rid of those peas that can pop and make your sound quality pretty bad, a ball-type windscreen to eliminate wind sound, it also comes with a 3.5 millimeter male to XLR female cable to obviously connect to your computer with a higher quality than just 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. This microphone is very similar to the Niwer BM800 microphone in form factor in many different ways. This is one of the best deals on a microphone bundle I've seen and would strongly recommend buying it. Link in the description. When I got it, it was only about $35.99, but it might have gone up or down in price since then. This product caught my eye because it was such a great price for that much stuff that will be applicable in my videos. Especially since I only bought this mic right here and this tripod stand. Because the mic on my Turtle Beach X12 gaming headset just wasn't cutting it in terms of audio quality. So let's start unboxing it. So here all the stuff is. Right on top you can see the pop filter. So here's the pop filter. Uh, it's pretty nice. Looks like it should eliminate a lot of pops and make it better on my video. It has a very adjustable stand so you can put it in just the right position and then has a clamp thing to mount it to anywhere basically. So set that over here for now. Also here on top is the mounting, the clamp mount kit for the boom arm right here. So you screw this onto your desk anywhere and then here's where you put in the boom arm and tighten it down. Next is the XLR to 3.5 millimeter male jack. And that's to connect it to your computer, as I said before. It's pretty long, too. That's great. After that is a shock mount. So we'll open this guy up real quick. This thing is to eliminate vibrations. And looks like it will do a pretty good job of that. That's how you put it in. You pull this little clamp right here. And you can. It, this thing is also very adjustable. And this is the little packet, but who cares about that? Now we have the boom arm and the instruction and other stuff manual. So here is the boom arm itself. It is very adjustable, has springs for tension, and you can tighten it down. And then you put this, you put the microphone on this part, and you put this part in the clamp mount kit that I have already showed you. Next we have a, the foam windscreen, which is great for if you're outside, even if inside, if there's a little breeze or something or a draft, which this will not be so flat once you put it on the mic because it will obviously stretch out. I might just try to do that real quick. I don't know. I'll get it later. So we'll set this manual off to the side. And here is the main thing of this whole bundle, which is the microphone. So the microphone is all metal, I think. Should be. All metal. This part's uh, stainless steel, I think. I don't know, but it looks very nice and has a very clean presentation for a budget microphone. So that's all that's in the box. So let's go set it up. So let's start setting this up.
moved the pop filter, it was in a different position when you saw the time lapse of me setting it up. It was under, but that was kind of blocking my monitor, so I put it over, and I have the windscreen, just everything on it. And it's, if you can see back there, it's all hooked up to my desk, and it looks pretty good, and now it's time to test the mic quality. Before this mic test starts, I would like to point out I am using noise reduction from Audacity because there is a lot of background noise in my house. I think it's feedback from other objects and just a bunch of other stuff going on. So I want you guys to have the best sounding quality. And this is not to make the product look better than it is. It is great if you don't have all that feedback. But if you have that feedback, I would recommend downloading Audacity now and using noise reduction. It makes your video quality so much better and it makes it better for people to listen to. So this is the NW700 microphone and it's actually very good quality for a budget mic. I didn't really expect that. But right now I have to have it plugged into phantom power because my computer sound card can only output 3 volts because it's old. And it, this thing needs about 5 volts to run at normal sound. So you might need phantom power if you have an older sound card like mine, but if yours is newer, then I would just use that and you don't need phantom power. But if you don't want to spend around 20 bucks for just a phantom power brick, then I would recommend getting the item on the screen right now. A link will be in the description for that. This is basically a mini sound card for your computer that will output 5 volts so this microphone can run at maximum sound capacity. And yeah, this microphone overall, a great microphone, great components, comes with great stuff, has a great stand, great pop filter, and all this stuff. And it's only about $36. As I said before, it might have gone up and down or down in price since then. But when I got it, it was only $36. If you like these videos, comment down below some items you would like me to review. But they have to be kind of cheap because I don't have a lot of money. And I can't be buying like $50, $100 items all the time. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.